when you're designing and developing a shoe it has to come from a place of not just knowing the sport but living the sport and that's exactly what jeff jordan does at his core he is a wrestler you know he comes to the ohio state room he doesn't just watch practice he gets on the bike and plastics and bikes for an hour while we while we wrestle so when you're talking about jeff jordan and the state champ camps you are talking about something that has produced a massive impact on the sport of wrestling. For us to build a shoe that is original and elite for this sport, it's got to come from within. I've been doing the wrestling for 21 years of my life. Uh, and get up in the morning, we start out with that morning run. And the, when you really break it down, we only run 1.1 miles. Not a tough run, not hard at all. But I want the kids to know when they go to bed, a lot of kids dread getting up and running. Most kids, most kids hate to run. So uh, it's kind of, I like them to play the mental game like I get up tomorrow morning and run. And I love the kids that they get up in the morning and embrace that run and try to have a better time every day. If you're gonna if you're gonna tell the story of building a Rudis shoe, you got to tell the story of what Rudis is all about and where it comes from. And Jeff Jordan is the epitome of wrestling in the way he lived his life. There's a correlation between hard work. The harder you work, the more confident you become. And you know, being sub submerged into sleeping on the wrestling mats uh, just brings one more element to, to the kid that he thinks he deserves to win. And uh, I love that. It's time, fellas. Yeah. Hurry up, get your shoes on, go to the bathroom, meet me outside. The camp's important because it's not just where the business got its start, but really the business got its start because we were sitting on top of a focus group. Jeff's camp is, is the greatest place to start a wrestling brand. It, it wasn't just uh, an opportunity. If I were to start over again from scratch, I would want to attach my business and my brand to the most organic um, expression of wrestling that there is, and that's youth wrestling camps. And when it comes to wrestling camps in the United States, there's not a better um, platform to learn about yourself, to look inward, and kind of go on your own personal journey for a week and think about what you have to go through in life to be successful in this sport than Jeff's camp. So why wouldn't you want your brand um, in the same setting where these kids are literally learning about themselves and then transforming themselves overnight while they sleep on a wrestling mat. So to think that our brand could be side by side that experience, I don't think there's anything like it. One more run after this one, guys. We good to go up there, Tan? All right, be careful. Take off, boys. You know, I've seen thousands of kids come through the camp and I've built a lot of great relationships. Uh, kids from 15 years ago or 20 years ago, now they're sending their sons to my camp. And uh, what, what, a, what an awesome, uh, what an awesome that, how awesome that is to have these guys coming. Good job, good job, nice run. 637, great job. Good job, Chris, 639, perfect. Call flower here didn't slow you down. Yeah, I mean, when you take on the role of a coach, you take on the responsibility that you want to impact every aspect of an individual's life. And you know what? When you, when you, when you accept the responsibility of a coach, you give up any sense of time commitment. And I'm not just talking about, you know, a season, a month on the, a month on the mat. We're talking a lifetime. Because when you, you commit as a coach, you're saying, I'm not just teaching you about a sport, 
you know, I want to shape your life. I want to impact that. So you can't, you can't get in and out of that vehicle, right? You're in the driver's seat. You buckle in and it's like, I'm going to keep driving down this road until you reach your final destination. I'm going to share this journey with you until you reach your final destination. He has a, a deep rooted love for the sport, uh, for helping people reach their potential. He cares about his athletes. And I think at his core, he is a wrestler. Right now we're going up to the high school. I got another facility up there. And uh, this is my office facility here. I take uh, 60 to 70 guys here in, in high school this week. I, got, I have team camp and I think I've got 10 teams up there. Then they roughly got 10, 10, uh, 10 wrestlers, a team, and uh, I got 100 guys there. So uh, it's, it's kind of neat having team camps there. Coaches come in, they, coaches are crazy. They stay right there. They sleep on the wrestling mat with a sleeping bag and pillow. And you know, I get the committed coach uh, that's committed to his team and uh, he wants to suffer like, uh, like the rest of his uh, athletes do. So uh, it's pretty neat. I enjoy team camps. It is uh, different than the individual camp. We show the same technique and all that, but uh, I just think it's it's great for teams to learn to learn the system that, that we teach here uh, at the Jeff Jordan State Champ Camp. Here, I'm elbow deep. I'm wrapping here. Elbow deep, locks in front, heads up. There cannot be any space between the bend of my elbow and the bend of his knee. So when you're talking about Jeff's camps, you're talking about the clientele that seeks to, to gain an edge. You know, and I, I think that's what we're trying to deliver when we're talking about the shoe. We're not talking about the athlete that's going to your local sporting goods store and taking whatever shoe they have, they have in stock. We're looking for an athlete that's seeking out that edge, that edge in performance, that edge in feel, that edge in design, that edge in aesthetic. He can't unlock it, he cannot unlock his hands until his right knee hits there. Now guys, I can't square up with him. Double inside tie, head inside, chase the ankle, hit it. Good, elbow down, step over, nice. Now we're going to the middle. To me, um, you can have as much business acumen as you want. You can have as many strategic relationships and partnerships and license agreements as you want. But the buy-in to compete in this place is to, to come from it, to spend your life in it. And so we've done that. And that experience, is much more valuable than having a, a direct line to Beaverton, Oregon. You know, to me, you know, we come from wrestling. We are wrestling. People can relate to that, and we know how to connect with the consumer. When I look at the other shoe companies that we're competing against, they're not wrestling. Rudis, we're, we're wrestlers. We're, we're, we're wrestling. We, we want to win. It's not what we do. It's who we are.